euro dollar. So the euro remains well capped into rallies and the pressure remains on the downside. Key support now comes in at 110.87 with a break below to open acceleration to the downside back towards the July low at 108.09. At this point, only back above the 114.67 high that we saw back in May would compromise the bearish structure. Sterling dollar, so cable remains pressure to the downside, and the focus now is on a key test of that 50.90 low that we saw going back to uh, early May. A break below 150.90 would expose psychological barriers at 150 further down, while at this point, only a break back above 153 would really delay the immediate downside pressure. Dollar yen. So dollar yen continues with its consolidation. A lower top is now sought out at 121.74, ahead of the next downside extension towards that recent spike low that we saw back on August 24th at 116.12. Really, only back above 121.74 would compromise the bearish outlook. Euro Swiss. So while we've seen a little bit of a setback in Euro Swiss over the past few sessions, the market overall remains well supported on dips and has retains this recovery outlook, which favors a higher low and fresh upside towards the next measure move objective in the 112 area further up. At this point, only a break back below 107.14 would compromise the constructive outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie remains pressure to the downside. The market recently stalled out and looked to put in a lower top around the 7280 area to be confirmed on a break below that recent multi-year low that we saw around 6910. A break below 6910 would expose deeper setbacks and acceleration towards a measured move in the 65 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD remains highly constructive with the market recently trading to fresh 11 year highs, just shy of psychological barriers at 135. We are seeing signs of a potential top, a short term top, as the market takes out the previous low that we had seen, and this could open the door for a bit of a correction over the coming sessions. Ultimately, however, any setback should be very well supported, with only a break all the way back down below 128.60 to compromise the constructive outlook. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi remains confined to a broader downtrend. The market has been consolidating over the past several sessions, but any rally should continue to be very, very well capped uh, towards the 65 handle, with a lower top side out ahead of the next downside extension below that recent multi-year low, going back to the 24th of August at 61.30. At this point, only a break back above 67.40 would compromise the bearish outlook. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has shifted its structure over the past several weeks with the market breaking down back in August and signaling the potential formation of a major top. At this point, the latest rally is stalled out by the 2022 area and a lower top is sought out to be confirmed on a break to fresh multi-month lows below that recent low that we saw on August 24th, which came in around 1830. Uh, only back above 2022 would compromise the newly adopted bearish outlook for the S&P 500. Gold. So gold setbacks have been well supported and continue to be well supported around the 1100 area and the market looks like it's in the process of recovering out from those recent multi-year lows at 1073. At this point, a push above 1170 will help to confirm and accelerate gains up towards medium term resistance at 1233. Only a close back below 1100 would compromise this outlook and put the pressure back on that multi-year low at 1073 below which exposes psychological barriers at 1000 further down.